Okay, so whenever you want to get started, Pat, we should be good okay, to go. Okay, welcome to the City of Hudson Public Utilities Commission meeting for Tuesday, January 11th, uh, 2022. We begin with the roll call, uh, please, Jace. Um, Hassan, Coram, Paul. Here. Nolan. Here. Priceil. Here. Reese. Here. Wecken. Here. Okay. First thing okay, so in the agenda is approval of the committee meeting meetings from uh, December the 14th. Move to approve. I'll second. Who's that that's second? Harry. Okay. A new business, the first all item favor. is... Uh, all those in favor, sorry, Pat. Aye. Aye. Got a motion and a second. So Aye. 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 Go to new business. Would be the pay request for Magni. Okay, so in your packets, uh, we do have uh, Magni pay up number 19 um, in the amount of $307,000. $678.62. Um, SEH has gone through that and confirmed that what they are submitting um, is accurate. So we will need a motion and a second and then a vote on Nagy pay up number 19, unless you have any questions. Move to approve. I'll second that. I have just a question since I'm new to this. Um, can I assume that we um, involve some sort of audit as we go forward when it comes to expenses related to this? Yeah, the, the utility is actually, it, it's, it, it's audited no different than the city. So every year we, we run through, they're actually preparing that now or getting, getting ready to go through that now. So um, yeah, every year the city does a complete audit. You'll see it, you'll actually see that. It'll be presented to the commission uh, in the next couple of months. You'll okay, get wonderful. Advice, so. Thank you, that helps. Okay, so we got a motion and a second. Uh, any other discussion on pay up number 19? Otherwise we will, we will need a vote on that. So all eyes. Aye. 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 Nose. Aye. Okay, motion passes. Then the uh, next item of new business would be the uh, update with the problem to fix the uh, HVAC controls at the service center on Livingston Road. Okay, so yeah, again, in your in your packets, um, there is an issue sheet on this. <clears throat> um, I, I'll, I'll just kind of give you the highlights here. So our, our HVA system here at the service center is... Um, controlled through like a web server. Uh, so it's all computer operated, um, things of that nature. Uh, the system that we have, um, so, so when we purchased this, this building, uh, this system was already in place. Um, we had to have some stuff done to be able to actually control it from here because when XL Energy owned it, they actually controlled all the heating and cooling and everything from Eau Claire. So we did have to spend some money, if you remember some of you that were here, um, to upgrade the system so we could actually get it away from Eau Claire off of Exxon Energy's uh, uh, system and we could control it here. The, the problem is, is that, that the system was run by uh, Flash Player. So anybody that's familiar with Flash Player um, is no longer supported or available. You can't do any, it's just gone. So we have been, uh, one second, Susie's coming in. Um, so we have, been, we have been kind of running on bare bones. I, I can't do anything with it. I can't adjust heat. I can't do anything. Right now, currently in this building, uh, one of the sections in this building, there's two sections. One of them right now is 63 degrees and the other is 70. Um, I can't control any of this stuff. So we went out, we, we received some proposals from uh, Siemens and also from Bartingale um, to, up, to, to get this system up and, and current so we can actually use the system. Um, you know, we do need to be able to control the heat, uh, things like that. Like I said, you know, a, a meeting right now, 
Um, if everybody was here, you'd all be freezing. And I, there's nothing I can do about it. So wear a jacket. Um, so, so we went out, I got proposals from Siemens. Uh, Siemens proposal includes a new, new pathway to take advantage of our existing Siemens infrastructure uh, and install a new interface that is intended to expand and last for many years. Um, the thing to keep in mind is the Siemens is a proprietary system and would continue to be a proprietary system. So Siemens has it set up to where you can't get parts unless you go through Siemens. You can't install parts unless you're a Siemens representative, um, things of that nature. So Bartengale, we, who, who does all of our maintenance right now on, on the system. Um, so, they, so Bartengale comes in and changes all the filters. If we have a motor go out, let's say in, in one, of the, one of the heating units or the air conditioning unit, or we have issues with it, um, Bartengale is who we actually use, um, and they use them all over the city um, to, to come in and, and do a, you know, any repairs that we need to do. So I reached out to Bartengale also. Um, Bartengale's proposal will replace the existing uh, uh, control system with a non-proprietary system, uh, which may give us more options in the future. Bartengale also provides service to all the heaters, blowers, air conditioning units, filters that we're currently using here. Um, the Siemens proposal came in at $13,350. The Bartengale proposal came in at $16,575. So there's about a little over a $3,000 difference. Uh, we did budget for this in 2022. We budgeted $25,500. Um, so we have, we have enough money to cover either proposal, but it's I'm leaving it up to you guys as to what who you want to go with. Um, you know, like I said, Bartengale, Bartengale is going to come in and basically tear everything out that's here and reinstall all new. Um, Siemens is going to reuse the majority of the stuff that's here and install. And, and again, don't ask me technical questions because I'm not going to have an answer for you. Um, but Siemens would be coming in, reusing some of the stuff that's here already and then upgrading to whatever they have to do so we can actually use and operate the system again. So um, that's pretty much the best ex explanation I can give you guys. Um, if there's questions or I'm sure you want to discuss uh, kind of who you want to go with or what, what route we want to go here. So I'll open it up. Well, it seems like Martingale, even though they're more expensive up front, it seems like uh, you have more options in the future and you may or may not be tied into a maintenance contract with them. Is that? Yeah, we're, we're tied into a, we do a contract with them for all the other stuff that I've mentioned, um, right. you know, type things. So, so I, me personally, I'm leaning towards the Barton deal. Um, I like, you know, like, like uh, Mary said, it is a couple thousand dollars more, but it's, it's a non-proprietary system. So if Bartengale decides to shut the doors, I, I can find somebody, you know, there should be somebody else out there that can come and help me. Um, I did not look into uh, hourly rates for, you know, Siemens and Bartengale to come out and work on the system if need be. Um, I don't know where, I, and again, I don't know where they, where they fall with that. Um, Barton Gale has been extremely good about if I call them, you know, a couple months ago, we had some air conditioning units, uh, or an air conditioning unit that was having an issue. They were out here within a day. Um, Siemens, it's a little bit more difficult to get a hold of. Uh, a lot of times when I'm calling them, you know, I'm calling to their call center down South somewhere, um, getting transferred around. It's not impossible to get them. So I don't want to say that, but um, I think we're getting a little bit better service out of, out of Bartengale. Um, the other thing is, is, you know, they're going to replace the entire system. Siemens is reusing some of the stuff that's been here since, um, XL Energy was here. That could be a concern, I guess. I don't know. So. So which one do you think is going to be more cost effective overall for the life of the product? If I just if I had to just guess, 
like I said, I didn't do anything in terms of hourly wage, um, you know, when they come, things of that nature. My guess is Bartingale being a local company mm -hmm. is going to give you a, you know, they're out of Eau Claire. Um, Siemens is a, you know, a worldwide yeah. company. Um, so, I mean, you know, they are big and they have resources and things like that. Um, I guess I, it, in my opinion, I would go with Bartingale, but that's completely up to you guys. Kip, can we talk about, I think it's the second page. Um, the solution and clarifications. Are you on the Siemens proposal, David? No, I'm on, I'm on Bartingale. And I concur with a lot of what you're saying and everything, but I just have a couple of quick questions about, you know, in regards to solutions, um, using a lot of the stuff that we currently have, um, replacing uh, CO2 sensors, uh, NO2 sensors as well. Um, any idea in the back of your mind if there is equipment, devices, sensors that are not working? No, everything, is, well, <laughs> again, I'm going to say no, David, but I can't tell you because I, can't, I haven't been able to get into the system for over a year. So I don't know. You know, ever since Flash So Siemens went out, has not even been, who, who has been maintaining the, the furnaces for the past couple of years, the air conditioner units? Barton. That's Barton Gale? Yeah. Okay. Siemens is just the control panel. That's all okay. they do. They come in. Uh, the only thing Siemens that we have currently is it's a big control panel, you know, maybe the size of a half of a half of a door that you have in your house about that size in our maintenance room um, loaded up with a whole bunch of electronics. That's the only Siemens product that we have in here. Okay. And then also, you know, with the uh, devices they're replacing, um, the Apogee, uh, Apogee devices, I'm not sure, I've never heard the name. Apogee. Are they replacing them with the same device or a different device that's going to be, you know, last longer than four years? Or is that, you know, um, a system that has to be replaced every four years, the CO2 sensors, et cetera? No, I, I mean, we... Well, since we've been here, we've never replaced the CO2. Sent. We see we have to have those CO2s in the garage. Mm -hmm. That's where they're that's where they're located. So we have to have these sensors in the garage. So when the guys are starting the trucks, you know, and coming in and out of the garage, that's what they're monitoring. Um, we haven't had to do anything with them. I think we did have to do something when we first bought the building. I think one of them might have been not working properly, or we had to have it adjusted. I can't remember exactly, but. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'm I'm guessing that they're going to replace them. It, it's a sensor. You know, I, right. I guess, you know, you're hoping for four years. You're hoping for longer, but right. it's a sensor. It's, it's different than a oxygen sensor on your vehicle. I mean, who knows when it's going to go out, you know. Right. Uh, One-year warranty, the way it looks. Four years on-site owner's training. Um, I thought somewhere in here. <laughs> um, with the training itself, can you get not only um, the digital training, but can you also, well, in person as well as like the manuals uh, in paper? Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, if it if it's kind of like the last digital. time, you know, kind of like the last time when we when we first bought this building, I had no idea how to operate any of this stuff. Um, so you know, they so Siemens came in because we had to go with Siemens because it was proprietary. So we had Siemens come in. Um, you know, they rebuilt the system so we could actually operate it. And, you know, yeah, they sat down with me at the computer and just showed me how to navigate through the different screens and what I'm looking at and, you know, different things like that. I'm assuming this new system is going to be way better than the old system just because of, of the age. Right. Okay. Good. Thank you. Any other questions on the proposals, comments, thoughts? So if you were doing this for your own home that you'd go with the Barton Gale? I mean, I would um, just for the simple fact it's not proprietary. Mm -hmm. That that really, it, 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 I don't, it, yeah, it scares me. It does. You're locked into them. Yeah. That's it. You're, there is no, you know, I can't call 
you know, Joe's plumbing or not that I would, but you know what I'm saying? I can't call right. anybody to come and do this thing. You know, if, if, power, if, if something happens in the middle of the, you know, in the middle of the night, um, I'm guessing I'm probably going to have a way better chance getting Bartingale here than Cena's. It's just my, right. it's just my personal opinion. I'll make the motion to go with the Bartingale proposal. We already had that motion, didn't we? No, not yet. No. Then I'll second it. Who, who's the second? Harry. Harry. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Perfect. Thank you. So the next item is um, the booster pump number one repairs. So the next the next three items are kind of all related. We did split them out um, uh, just for this. Uh, one thing to note on booster pump number one, uh, Waterwell Solutions, who was the low bid on this, has they did email me Friday and they did pull their bid on this. Um, they didn't think that they were gonna get the other two and being that they're out of, out of Oconomowoc, Wisconsin, uh, they really didn't feel that, that they wanted to send staff and everything all the way up here for $7,000. Um, yeah, they, I was going to ask if any of these were dependent on, or yeah, you had so, to go with the same vendor yeah, so for they, all of them. So when they <laughs> called, or when I talked to them on Friday, they just said, you know, they asked where everything came back in. Um, I told them, you know, where everything, and they just said, you know, just pull pull the, the booster pump from us. Um, I'm, I'm sure that they'll keep it in if, uh, if they were to get, you know, the well four and well six. Um, but I don't, see that happening. So, so booster pump number one, um, the water well solutions has been, has been pulled at their request. So this is budgeted. Um, these are maintenance. The, the next three items are just some maintenance things that we wanted, that we need to get done on uh, booster pump number one, uh, well four and well six. So no different than we do every year. Um, it's pulling everything out, you know, sending it to the shops, getting, uh, you know, whatever needs to be fixed, putting everything back. So um, booster pump number one, uh, we had Keys Well, uh, we had four proposals, Water Well Solutions, like I said, has pulled their proposal. Uh, so you've got Keys Well Drilling at 10550 You've got Municipal Well and Pump at $15,540. And you've got <laughs> Trout Companies at uh, 20125 so we will be looking for a, or I, I will need a uh, motion in a second and a vote on what we want to go with. Um, we I'll did, make a motion did, to approve Keys Well. I'll second. All in favor? Um, I, I've got I, some questions first. Yeah. So, uh, go ahead, Jess. I'm sorry. Why is there such a difference between the three wells with the prices? A lot of it can just be the size. Um, a lot of it can be depths, what they have to pull in and out, um, things of that nature. So yeah, not all wells are the exact same. So you will see okay. price differencing in that. And are all of the companies reliable and He's uh, have a track with track record with any of them. Yeah, I mean, Keys has been doing wells in the city of Hudson for since there was a well, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so they've done they've done numerous even since I've been here. Um, I believe Keys has gotten every well project that we've had, with the exception of one. Um, and the reason Keys can do it is they're local. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't have they don't have a lot of travel costs. Uh, their guys go home at night. So they're not having to put them up in a, in a motel with per diems and, and things like that. That's where the other ones kind of uh, start falling off. Um, okay. That was, that, I think that was the, the next question I was going to have was, yeah, why is there such a difference between the different companies? And that makes yeah. sense having to yeah, put people it, up in hotels and things like that. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of it. Mm -hmm. right there. Okay. Kip, is that, is that amount budgeted for, yeah. um, is, is that for all, all these? Oh, the, the for the whole year? The fifty nine thousand is for all three. Okay, yes. and we and we and we do if if we take low bid, um, we do fall under the fifty nine thousand for all three. Uh, there is some money that that will be left out of that, um, but that'll be burned up because um, so when we pull a well, 
there's usually a 40 horse motor that sits on top of the well. That's what actually draws the water up and things like that. So uh, the well companies don't, don't mess with the motor itself. But when we pull the motor out, we actually bring it right down the road from the service center here to a motor repair company. We have them completely go through it, check, you know, bearing sounds. They'll listen with uh, listening devices. If they hear any crackling or anything in the bearings, uh, they check the windings. Um, they just do a complete once over on that, on that motor before, since it's out before we put it back in. So there will be, you know, some expense with, with going with them um, to have that motor checked and we're not anticipating any, any major expenses on the motors. So. Are each of these done sequentially then? So you would do yeah, we, them in, in, our in order or would you do them all at the same time? Nope. In our bidding documents, we actually set that up. Um, we have, we have completion dates that we put in there that they, that they need to hit. So, you know, booster that can pretty much be done at any time, but then they'll have to, you know, let's say then they're going to jump. If, if, if the same company gets all three, they would just kind of pretty much come in and just go succession. Yeah. We won't have two of them pulled at the same time. So they'll do one, completely finish it, put it back, get it operational, then move on to the next one. So Joyce asked the questions that I was going to ask. It sounds as though um, we have good reputation experience with Keys Well. Uh, it is a little bit jumping ahead, but I think it's relevant to ask the question of um, should we go forward on the same vendor for all of the maintenance and work, uh, whether or not it would be reasonable to ask for some sort of a discount there? Yeah, you won't. You're, the bid is the proposals are what the proposals are. Um, you're not going to get a discount if we if Keys gets all three. It's just the proposals are what the proposals are. Yeah. All right. I mean, you guys can kind of amongst yourselves say, okay, uh, it looks like you know Keys is low on all three of these. They're low on the booster. They're low on number four. They're low on number six. Chances are they're going to get all three of them. Um, you know, I guess if, if you guys want to make that determination now before you vote on one of them, um, that that's up to you guys. But I would recommend keys for all three. They're just they're a little bit. We have to have separate motions for each. Yeah, one, I think. But... Yeah, let's let's do separate motions on each one. Um, I'll just save myself some time, and I won't have to go through and rehash everything again. But um, I'm ready to vote. Okay. Who made the motion? Okay, David made a motion for the uh, uh, the work to, on the uh, booster station number one. Who was second on it? I, I the, the the lady's voice is kind of sound the same, so you have to uh, maybe say your name first, and then uh, 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 when you make a second or a motion, it makes it easier. No, I think I did. Yeah. Who's Joyce. I? Joyce. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See what I mean? It's especially with God. Uh, Carrie and, and uh, uh, Joyce, you're, 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 uh, they, they sound almost the same. Okay, so we got a we got a set, or, uh, we got a motion and a second for keys well drilling for uh, booster number booster, one, booster pump number one. Right. So is there any discussion? Pat, you want to call for all in favor? Oh. Aye. 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 Opposed? Me? No one is. Oh, no nays. Boost number one so, goes to Keys. Uh, then we can move on to... Uh, well, number four. Well, number four. So basically the same thing that, that I've said. Um, I will just, I'll just read everything just so it's on record here. Uh, well, four scheduled for rehab and includes all the labor, tools, equipment, um, everything that, that's required to do this uh, to a depth of 240 feet of column. Um, and I just lost everybody. Hold on. My screen, you guys still hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. My, there we go. My screen just went black. So apologize for that. Um, so well number four pump and column repairs. Uh, Keys well drilling was at $19,840. Water well solutions was at $29,789.35. Uh, municipal well and pump was at $48,378. And trout companies was at $86,845. Wow. 
Make a motion to approve uh, Keys Well at the sum of nineteen thousand eight hundred forty dollars. Second, Susie. For well number four, correct. That's correct. Okay. Uh, this is Susie. I'll second that. Okay. Motion. Set any discussion. If not, I'm in favor. Call for roll. Aye. 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 No any names? opposed? Okay, passes keys. Then we have well number six, pump and column repair. Okay, so uh, same thing, uh, keys. This is for well number six, pump and column repair. Uh, keys well drilling at $19,377.50. Water well solutions at $37,611.25. Municipal well and pump at $67,423 and trout companies at $96,125. I make a motion to approve uh, Keys Well for well number six, the total of $19,377.50. I'll second that. This is Susie. Okay. Any discussion? Otherwise, all in favor say aye. 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 No nays. Okay. So we're going with keys. Yep. Then we've got the project updates and status report from KIPP. Okay. So uh, in your packet, you'll see the memorandum from SEH on just a construction summary of kind of what's been going. Uh, the lab building, the old screen room equipment was demolished. Work was continued to repurpose this room into a maintenance room. Um, painting the basement walls was started. Uh, the new pretreatment building continued painting the walls, ceiling, and pipe. Control building, new boiler system was brought online for the uh, building heat. The sludge conditioning building, the new D, uh, DAF tank began thickening sludge and the treatment process. Little process was returned to operation with the plant and the old uh, or the vector pad was was uh, poured, the concrete walls were poured uh, so we can uh, begin converting that into a, a vector truck uh, dump pad. So, um, and then there's some, some nice pictures in there uh, for everybody to kind of look at and see. And that is the update of what's going on down there. So any questions on that? It. Any other business for informational purposes, Kip? Uh, the, uh, we have 4.2, the project status report. Um, that, not a whole lot on there, obviously, this time of year. Um, everything kind of was done for the year, or we're just starting to get into new stuff here shortly. So uh, the only thing on the project status report is the uh, wastewater treatment plant update, which we just, we just did. Yeah, so. Uh, other business, I, the only other business that I had just for information for everybody, um, the new position, the administrative billing, uh, assistant position that we're hiring this year, um, where we've closed applications on that. Um, we had 182 applications for it. So, wow. um, we, I, we did start interviews. We had one today. Uh, there's a few more scheduled for, for this week and next week. Um, so once we get through the interviews, we, I will be, uh, hopefully, hopefully picking a candidate and we'll get them on board, um, and get moving. So, and, and again, just like every other time that we've hired, it'll, it'll, I'll make the decision, uh, we'll hire them and then it'll just come back pretty much as a formality to you guys for just official final approval, just so it's for the record. So. Um, but yeah, 182 applications. So that was, that was, uh, fantastic. Um, lot, lot, lot to go through, but oh well. <laughs> better than two, right? Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all I had for information. Does anybody else have anything they want to share or talk about or let the, let everybody else know? Uh, cash reports are not done. Um, right now, I know a couple of the staff have been out. Um, we've mm -hmm. got some sick, some sick people. 
So some of the staff have been out. Uh, I know they're trying to process uh, utility bills and get them out too. Um, when they're here, when they're feeling well and different things like that. So those are not available, um, but we'll have them for, for next month, hopefully for you. So, and then uh, Pat, if you want to do seven. We still have the discussion of possible action on our claim on the claims. Correct. Move to approve. This is Joyce. I'll second that. If there's no discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 No nays? Oh. <laughs> and last is adjournment. And I, well, I guess just real quickly on that, I do appreciate everybody that is, you know, if you guys do have questions on that, um, you know, on anything, a couple of you have reached out, you know, ahead of time, um, which does make it way easier uh, instead of, you know, kind of hope hoping I can find an answer here on the spot. Um, so I do appreciate everybody that's kind of reached out with questions, uh, things of that nature. So um, thank you. And thanks other, for responding. Other than that, we can adjourn, Pat, if you want a motion in a second. I don't know who did. I'll move adjournment. to adjourn, this is Joyce. We do need a second or we all have to sit here all night. <laughs> I'll, I'll second, I'll second it. <laughs> All right. And in favor? Aye. 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 All right. No Thank names. you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great night. Have a great night, everybody.